Diabetics, their family and friends have been begging drug companies to lower the cost of insulin. Today they got the news one major company plans to cap it at $35 a month. But as News Channel 5's Araceli Crescencio tells us, this news is coming too late for some families. You may remember Landon Johnson. I can't afford to even buy insulin, man. In 2019, he was forced to ration his insulin after being dropped from TenCare. Well, for a month's supply, it was generally almost $1,100 to $1,200, depending on what pharmacy. Trying to keep up with the price of his medicine often meant being stuck in limbo. You know, he had to make a choice. Do I buy my insulin this month or do I eat? And a lot of times he would just sit there and cry over it and just like, you know, Mom, what do I do? For Landon's mother, Penny Wright, it's heartbreaking to know the words her son spoke years ago became a reality. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to die before I'm 30, man. I really do. The 24-year-old type 1 diabetic died of diabetic ketoacidosis two years ago after his body didn't have enough insulin. You know, we, we never want to cut time short with our loved ones. Um, I think he had more to do in life. I think he had, would have had more time to be a voice for others because that's exactly what he wanted to do. Despite her tremendous loss, Wright says the news that drug maker Eli Lilly will cap out-of-pocket cost of its insulin at $35 a month for both insured and uninsured people brought a smile to her face. I'm so thankful, you know, that finally something is, is getting started and getting done to help these people. It might be too late for my son and others, but if it can save one life, and this is my son's words, if it can save one life, Mama, that's all I want. That's all I want. In Mount Julia, Araceli Crescencio, News Channel 5.